Okay. Day 17. I'm just not excited anymore. I should be excited though, because we're getting through these boring styles and we should be getting into the better ones. Because that's what happens. The end of the calendar gives us better ones, gives us better ones, gives us. us. Ah. Grain burn. Uh, yep. The Grain Bin Brewing Company out of Calgary, Alberta. Grand Prairie. The Commonwealth, a slightly stronger English style porter, coming at 6.5% alcohol by volume. Okay, it's a porter. I can accept this. I can accept this. Day 17, porter time. Means the battle of the porters. Welcome back to day 17. We are four days, or four days, wow. I'm jumping at the gun on that one. We are seven days away from Christmas Eve. And we have another Alberta beer showing up here, coming in at a comfortable 6.5% alcohol by volume. We're looking at an English style porter from the Grain Bin Brewing Company called the Commonwealth. And the Queen style with a Canadian twist, chocolate caramel and some fruity esters, a blend of flavors we wish we were more common. So, yeah, out of Grand Prairie, Alberta. Now, the grain bin, grain bin also, if I remember correctly, helps um, provide grain for Alberta breweries as well. So I think they do. I could be wrong. There's a few places out there that I think do. I think the grain bin is one of them. So, I that it's origin. I don't know. There's something out there. Okay. Well, it's a porter. Reminding myself, it's a porter. However, the smell I'm getting off of here, right from this, that nose is actually kind of, it's almost alcoholic. Like you get sort of like a, a whiskey smell in a way, which is weird. So, let's find out exactly what we're smelling here. Chocolate notes, a little char. Yeah, a little roasty. Okay. You know what? Porter time. Let's do it. Cheers, everybody. to be biased here because they're from Alberta but that's not half bad the aftertaste however leaving a little bit of a metallic taste it's a medium bodied which is different it's leaving like a, 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 a silky film on my lips or on my tongue which is nice you do get a sweetness of like a chocolate in there and then you get a roastiness after that but then you get that metallic taste after I don't mind that metallic taste um, it's not overpowering It's decent. It's, it's, it's a good twist. It does have sort of like that, a, a caramelish style that you would get out of a, 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 an English style porter in a way. Um, fruity esters. Yeah, okay. There might be some fruity esters that might give off that metallic taste.
overall it's a decent a decent porter it is it is kind of like an english porter with a canadian twist they're not they're they're not wrong on that um i don't mind that it's easy drinking it's actually quite good yeah my score for this it'll be a higher one I, I, I'm I'm losing more of that metallic taste that, that, that I had at the very beginning. It's not as prominent now. 4.25. I like it. I really do like it. That's a really good porter. Um, normally porters are just, they're, they're middle of the road. They're a little bland. They're there. But this one's got a little bit of extra flavor to it, which is, which is kind of nice. And it's 6.5%, you can't go wrong with that, especially when they have it masked. I like this. I like it a lot. Well, folks, have you had this one before? Do you like it? Do you not like it? This has been day 17 of the Craft Beer Advent Calendar. I'm really digging this one. I really do like it. It's got some good flavors. Day 18 is going to have to really pick up their stuff in order to either tie or beat this one. So let's find out what happens tomorrow with day 18. Until tomorrow, folks, cheers. Stay frosty. We'll see you real soon. Thanks again for joining. Have yourselves a wonderful and safe evening. And um, if you haven't gone Christmas shopping, why not? You're going to need to real soon. Cheers, everybody.